What up, guys? Seth here. It's going to be kind of a quick video. I don't know. Yeah, I got paint all over my shorts. It'll be all right. Hanwei Iga Ninja Toe, one of my grail swords, got here today. I've been chasing this thing for years. They never have them in stock. And when they do on eBay, these fucking scalpers sell them for like $700, $800. KOA finally got a shipment in of them after like forever and uh i jumped on one so i had to postpone getting my my blue budo back to get this one but the dude understood so all all good next month <clears throat> i'll try to get the blue budo back anyway this is i know i've said it before on some stories but i have never had a ninja toe that I love this fucking much. This is fucking stunning. I mean, even over my Kuga, over my T10 Shokasugi from Lysword. Um, uh, came pretty sharp. Conway doesn't usually have their swords that sharp. I uh, made a couple passes on 600, maybe like two or three passes, if that. And uh, I did tape out the blade really, really well because I knew the Kuga scratched up. So I'm gonna make extra sure to really, really tape up the, um, you know, the the friendly part of the blade, I guess you wanna call it. And it is just stunning. I love that Suba. I love the Manuki. It is sun and moon. That's the sun. And the moon's down here in that little crest right there. This Saya is absolutely stunning and gorgeous. It's wrapped in cane, ratten, ratan, right, whatever. You got genuine buffalo horn. You got the, the iron fittings on the Saya. So yeah, it could be higher quality, but I'm not gonna complain too much about it. I may grab another one. That's, that's easy. Uh, this isn't as like sharp as the, or not even sharp, it's not as aggressive as the Hanway Kuga over there on my stand, and that's where the home of my ego is gonna be, well, it is, it's right there up under the Koga, it's a set now. Wouldn't call it a die show, but I guess it could be called a die show. And when it's sitting in the side, it looks really sick, so if you guys give me just a half a second, I will Resheat the sword. You can see I did take off the blade. So I only I I even left this alone. So it starts right about there when I did my sharpening. Nope, it's not beveled. Just a little bit of change in the polish. Give me a second guys and I'll show you what the ninja toe looks like in the side. Hold on just one second. Oh, and this isn't piano finish. This is some kind of different texture. I can't tell what it is. But hold on just a second. The Saya fit is absolutely perfect. There is no movement, no rattle, no wiggle. The retention is perfect. And it is just, it is a grail sword crossed off my list and I'm so happy and proud to own this. Wish it was under better circumstances. So tomorrow I'm gonna have a video of my car. Uh, I've got to take one anyway for insurance purposes anyway. So some photos and shit. But uh, yeah, I was in the car wreck last night. Not happy about it. The scar on this is very, very narrow on just comparing it to standard Katana and other Ninjato I've owned. But when you consider it's a Hanway and they're known for their ax handles on their swords, this is really impressive. It feels perfect in the hand. Like, you know how you pick up something and you're like, oh yeah, this is for me. That's kind of the same thing. I love the Kashira. and get it. <clears throat> I did another take of this before this. It just didn't work out the way I wanted to. But this is this is nice. This is really great. Specs and dimensions and 
all that should have been in the description. And my wife is coming through the door. Sounds like she's coming home from going grocery shopping. Seems like she can't figure out the password, but anyway. There's wifey wearing, oh, look at that. She's wearing her Revenge of the Ninja t-shirt. Hi, wifey. Hey. And I got her this necklace today for her birthday. All right, guys, you guys have a great one. Peace, and we'll see you in the next video. More to come.